I'm David Penn, I'm the Head of Estates and Facilities at Plymouth College of Art and I've been there for about five years now. The aims and ambitions of the project were that we needed to replace some tired end-of-life buildings that, that were really in a poor state. Um, the idea was to rebuild some craft workshops that were all sorts, there's all sorts in there, there was glass blowing, there's ceramics areas, there's all sorts of crafts going on in the building. The key performance indicators from the framework did give me an awful lot of confidence to um, be able to pick um, from the contractors that were on the framework. Um, I think they all had a, a pretty good track record of delivering the sort of projects that, that I was going to be embarking on. The project went very smoothly, um, I think due to the involvement of the framework contractors that we had, um, I think the team that they gave us, or that we employed, went very, very smoothly indeed. They, they were all very good and very professional at what they were doing. The quality of the intended project has been as it was a workshop building, we needed very raw finishes. Um, and but one thing that we did want was this very hard, durable concrete floor, which we've achieved. Um, the walls were straightforward block work. We've got a lot of exposed services. All the services are exposed, and also the structural steelwork frame is all there for everybody to see. The main challenges on the contract were um, the developing the brief from the college knew what they wanted to do. It was just getting from what the college wanted from the client requirements to actually onto a drawing so as it could all be brought back to us for approval. The big challenge there was changes. Um, as in all projects, change was a, a nightmare, but they do happen and the contractor worked extremely well with us to overcome all of the changes and they understood why we needed to change things and work very well with us. The early contractor involvement gave us, gave them or gave us the opportunity of maximising the, uh, the area of the site that we were able to develop um, using their preferred methods of, of construction to give the benefit to the client. So we gained as far as area was concerned but as I say it was the cost certainty and, and using the framework rates um, gave us really really good value for money. On the project we had a new building being built up against an existing building and there was probably there was a metre gap between the two or perhaps just over a metre and that was just going to become a, a bit of a rat run and it was decided fairly early on that perhaps that could be incorporated into the design and that was done very simply and very cheaply um, by putting a simple lean-to roof over the top of the gap between the two buildings which has actually created quite a nice corridor for then it's actually being used as, a, as, a, as a, an art area where there are you know, gallery space. The framework gave us the opportunity of getting from the design, moving through from the design onto site and getting the job completed um, in very short timescales. Um, we, we didn't have chance to be able to go out enough time to go out through an ODU process, so all of the contractors were pre ODU'd, and that gave us an ideal opportunity of getting from where we were to where we wanted to be very quickly, but more importantly, within a, a, a very tight budget. The contractor undertook um, quite rigorous um, value management, value engineering, whatever you want to call it. Um, initially, the, the, the initial costs that came back were exceeded our budget and we had to work very closely with the contractor and the design team to bring the project back onto budget. Um, and we did that by mutual agreement. It was it will, one finish versus another finish and it all worked very well. The added value we got from the, um, from, the, from the contractor was that they'd been there, they'd done it, they knew where all the pitfalls were, 
they knew what methods of construction um, would suit our site and that's the proposal that I came back forward with was a, a really good simple solution um, from the contractor that really gave us the opportunity to, to build and maximise on the space. The two-stage approach that was adopted um, certainly gave us the, the cost certainty and yes we, we came in probably slightly under but only marginally under our budget um, which for me was really good. Collaboration on projects such as this I think was, it was essential. We needed to work um, with a contractor and his design team. The design team understood and got to know what the college, what their requirements were um, and was able to convert that into information to allow the contractor to build exactly what we wanted. The college had a live site that was fully occupied throughout the whole of this process. Um, there was some deep excavations very close to the existing buildings. Yes, we took protection, we protected the building. They, they took all sorts of um, measures to, to stop bits of the building falling off. Unfortunately, nothing did fall off, so that was, that was excellent. Um, but yes, we, we actually excavated below um, one of the, the, uh, the old existing workshop to form the new, and everything went, went according to plan. The handover was extremely smooth. Um, we were given all sorts of O&M manuals to, um, to keep us awake at night, um, full of really good information. Um, we also had a number of training days with the contractor. Because it was a phased, bit of a phased handover, we were able to um, pick the brains of the contractors before they actually decamped and walked away.